you know that Sony PlayStation was originally an add-on for the Super Nintendo? Back in 1988, Nintendo was interested in exploring the CD format as a possible alternative to cartridges. They hired Sony to start developing an expansion for their upcoming console, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. By 1991, Sony had developed a standalone console that could play all current cartridge games and also play any new SNES CD games. The deal fell apart though, as both Nintendo and Sony wanted more out of their arrangement. Nintendo dropped Sony out of development, but instead went to Philips, one of Sony's chief competitors, and licensed many of their games for Philips' new CD-based console, the CDI. Trust me, babe, I know about this CDI stuff. The CDI was a commercial and critical failure, producing some of the worst games ever made. Gee, it sure is boring around here. Sony, who already invested millions into their PlayStation, decided to join the video game industry and release their console to the masses in 1994. The PlayStation went on to be the highest selling home console of all time, selling over 102 million units. That is, until it was beaten by the PlayStation 2, which sold over 150 million units. Sony PlayStation 2 will be the biggest thing to come along since TV was invented. The buzz on this product is that strong. PlayStation 2. PlayStation. PlayStation 2. The most fastest video game system ever. You think Nintendo regretted their decision? If you enjoyed this vid, make sure you like, comment, and share. Follow us on Twitch and Twitter and like us on Facebook. Remember, more subs creates more buzz, so make sure you subscribe.